So somebody actually made a Nuketown remaster on Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies, and I've not actually played it yet, so I thought we'd give it a try today. Because Nuketown is actually special for me on this channel anyway. It was the very first video that I made of a retrospective gameplay. So hey, why not? This loading screen's pretty nice, not gonna lie. For a small challenge, map is definitely very fun, as long as you don't get really awful RNG with the Pack-a-Punch and the Juggernaut machines. Because if you don't know how Nuketown works, basically the perks and the Pack-a-Punch drop from the sky. Oh, we have game modes? What is this? Change the map game mode or the... Oh, what? I, I, I don't know what's happening. Survival, I guess. Start game? Change HUD? We can have Black Ops 2 HUD as well? Is there in beta, but like, sure, we'll give it a try. I'm confused what any of this stuff is. Select difficulty, easy, normal, hard. I mean, we'll just do the default, whatever that is. Probably like hard or normal. Set up bots. You can play with bots. That's kind of cool. I need some ammo. Oh my God, we even have <laughs> what's voice acting. Okay, now this looks pretty good. Oh, and we've got a perk dropping from the sky. Oh, what's it going to be? Uh Oh, it's going to be quick revive, right? Yeah, yeah, it's always quick revive. Nice. You know, the Black Ops 2 HUD looks pretty good. All right, we'll just, uh, oh, we have hit markers. Cool. We have the Black Ops 4 hit markers. That's kind of strange. I'm assuming we'll have the Galvan Knuckles in there, probably. Oh, the hit markers have gone now. What? That's strange. Okay, it is what it is, though. Wait, what's this? Wait, if I hit into this? It makes a noise. What? That's, that's a really strange detail, but I like it. It's realistic. All right, box is over there. I guess we'll head towards there. Whoa, that is a nice looking sky. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I was going to take a screenshot and then ricked off and just started talking and it's giving me captions. Oh, thank you, game. Oh my God. Hello, you are running. Maybe it is on hard difficulty. Why did it knife the wrong one? It's fine. We're good. Um, let's just go ahead and open these doors. Uh, actually, we don't have enough to- we don't have enough to, uh, to buy the mystery box. Is there anything in here? I guess not. We could train up the zombies and try and, like, grenade them, but, eh, let's just go for knives, actually. This map looks amazing. I didn't even know this existed as a remaster. So I'm really happy to be playing this. I'm not sure what's gonna be in the mystery box. I wonder if it'll be Black Ops 2 guns? Uh, oh, it looks like... Okay, it looks like a mix. We got the HVK. So this is more like a Zombies Chronicles style remaster. I wonder when we'll get Jug, to be honest. Like, maybe not for uh, another 10 rounds. It could be. I always loved Nuketown because it was such a unique experience. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. I never hated it. It offered a unique experience. Uh, we got the Pharaoh. Oh boy, my favorite gun ever. I mean, it's not often that you get Zombies maps that will change the perk system or the Pack-a-Punch system. Obviously, we've got the V word that I won't mention, but oh, we've got another perk drop, I think. I don't know how it's calculated, like how often, but... Oh, let's not go down! My god, that was risky. I'm too busy staring at the bloody sky. Oh, oh, oh! It dropped, like, right next to me, which is kind of funny. Let's not get stuck on the rock! Oh my god, I died! <laughs> All right, nothing happened. What? Oh, okay. I was just going to like start the recording again. We got the Reagan Mark II. That's a good way to start it. I was going to say that we put the Black Ops 2 guns on, but then we just got the Reagan Mark II. So, hey, not complaining at all. We got Black Ops 2 HUD, Black Ops 2 Reagan, Black Ops 2 guns. I guess you live and you learn. Go down on round four, get gifted with uh, a Reagan the next game. Let's just uh, not go down because that would absolutely suck if we lose this. So yeah, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go pick up Quick Revive because yeah, I don't trust myself. Oh, he's even got the Black Ops 2 perk icons. I like that. It's nice because when you change it to Black Ops 2 guns, it'll literally change every single wall weapon as well, not just the box. It's a very neat feature. I have to appreciate that from the map creator. It's sort of coded in a way but like, it's similar to a campaign mission, which I really like. I won't lie, though. This is going to be quite sketchy. I feel like it is on hard mode because these zombies are like, they're running fairly fast now. For round four, this is uh, a bit more aggressive than I'm used to. I know, because hey, we got a Reagan Mark II, so try me. I do want to get the box, though, because we don't really have a good point gun right now. Sure, the ray gun's great, but it's not okay, dude. Then we get the Olympia. Again, it's just not really what I want. Spin the box once more. Just don't give me the war machine. The 5.7. Okay, dude, I can take a 5.7. I'll happily take it. Does that mean that there's the dual wield 5.7 as well? Ooh, I can add that to my map list of three of the exact same gun that I can do. Like, see, at least I can get points with this, right? That's assuming we don't go down to a stupid death. Stupid deaths, stupid deaths. Oh my God, can we not? Trying to sing horrible history songs and I'm getting absolutely destroyed by these zombies. It's going underneath here. Here is for just for death trap. Under those bloody stairs. Oh god, okay, fine. 
We're good, we're good. All right, five, seven time. Get those points up. I love how fast you can spam this, man. Probably my favorite pistol of all time. Just 20 bullets in each magazine is so good. We've got a max ammo. Let's do the test. Oh, it doesn't actually reload. That's kind of sad. That's fine though. Let's just save up the points because I don't know what perk we're going to get next. I think one of them should have spawned actually. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we got dead shot. We got Deadshot Daiquiri, are you serious? Of all the perks we could get, well, it's fine. We can, um, surely we can survive long enough to get Jugglepap. That's cool Deadshot's on this map, though. I don't think that's on the original Nuketown, so, like, just a little added thing. Maybe it's already there by default, like, the machine's just always there. I didn't notice it before, so. Oh, we got an insta-kill, okay, that's gonna help. If I can aim, of course. Oh, I hear it, we're getting another perk. I gotta pay slight attention to where this is dropping. Never mind, it's already dropped. Oh, it's right here. <gasps> Widow's Wine! Wait, that is so cool. What the hell? Well, I mean, we might as well pick it up. It's gonna help us out a bunch. I'd say it's on par with Juggernog in terms of strength. Also, I really like the Widow's Wine icon. Look at that, it's like Black Ops 2 style. Very unique, very nice. I like the look. Ow, okay, Widows, we're fine. Thank God we have it because <laughs> we're already uh, getting in precarious situations right here. The play might be to get a full horde. Oh, never mind. I was going to say get a full horde and then like spray into them. Okay. Yeah, I think this is definitely on hard mode, but that's fine. I don't mind a challenge, but a death machine. Oh, it's the Black Ops 2 death machine. Okay, that's sick because the death machine obviously wasn't in Black Ops 2. That is really neat. Maybe there's not a perk limit. Who knows? Uh, we've got the M27. Dude, why was the M27 only on Nuketown? Because it was such a cool gun. It was only ever in Nuketown Zombies. I mean, it's basically the commando from like Black Ops 1, but just a futuristic -y version. Probably one of my favorite guns in the multiplayer. I guess we'll go ahead and pack a punch this. Can't get much more unique in Black Ops 2 than a, a Nuketown only gun and a ray gun Mark II. Also, it's weird because the map like shakes every so often. So it really does feel like Nuketown, which I think the original map kind of missed in terms of atmosphere. Oh my god, just look at that! Absolutely obliterating the horde of zombies. Insta-kill. Oh, yep, you're all gone. Well, we got one zombie left. Bye-bye. Look at the detail in the outside of the map, though. Like, oh my god. Even, like, all the way out there, you can really see they put- they put some effort into this. Oh, we're getting another perk. I have no idea where this one's gonna drop. But we've had a lot of them over in this direction, so I assume it'll be the other side of the map. I want to try and look, but... Oh, oh, never mind. It's going to be over here as well. Just bloody crashing in front of me. Mule kick. Okay, dude. The one perk that I just don't want. Like, if there's no perk limit, sure. But if there is, why would I ever want to have mule kick before jug, before double tap, before stamina up? Zombies, can we not? They're getting, like, stuck on stuff. Oh, we got another death machine. Sure. Get obliterated. Oh, it's weird. It has an ammo count. I don't know if that's intentional or what. Right, that's the round. Get the nuke. We have 10,000 points. Wow, I did not realize we had that much. Oh, we're going to max. Nice. Oh, we're just going to hold out. We made it to round 10, though. You know, not doing too bad. Round 10, no jug. I want to play this map more and do, like, challenges such as, I don't know, the Olympia only challenge. But I'd probably do it on original Nuketown. This is more just for, like, a novelty thing. But it allows us to do, like, you know, starting on round 100, things like that. Which on Nuketown would be torture because, oh my god, trying to wait around for perks on round 100 Nuketown? That just sounds very, very annoying. What drop did we get? A double points. Well, I mean, it's not like we really need points. But I suppose I'll take it. Okay, well, yeah, like, you're just all dust, man. You're absolutely destroyed. Didn't even stand a chance. I mean, we can go for another spin. There's not really anything I want out of the box, but the Remington? Yeah, you know, it's a cool gun, but I just want perks. Hell, even Speed Cola wouldn't be bad, man. Stamina Up, Jug, or Pack-A-Punch would be the three that we really, really want. Anything else is kind of meh. Bro, the zombies take so long to spawn in, actually. I'm like standing around here thinking there's a full horde behind me and there's only like five zombies. Okay, we're fine. Well, how many drops are over here? Oh! Well, that's the round. We've got a death machine, but still no extra perks. I mean, it's possible they might have already dropped, but I don't think so. It's nice that the zombies have, like, the Zombies Chronicles sounds, though, so it really does feel like a Zombies Chronicles map. It's got, like, the hit marker sounds and stuff. Oh, here we go. I hear a perk spawning. Let's go. Finally, about time. 
Okay, it looked like it was um just on this side here. Where, like around this corner? <gasps> Double tap! See? Okay, dude, I'll take it. Be on the safe side. Let's just check around. See if we're missing a perk. It's very possible. I mean, let's check up here. Anything in ye old area? We found... What was that? A part? Oh, we can build the zombie shield? Oh, I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. I had no idea. Ow. Okay, well, you're just dead then. That was your fault. I don't see anything in here. Where is the buildable bench, though, is the question. Because... Well, if we found that part, I don't know, I guess we'll go back to the training spot. The transit shield only has two parts. At least our M27 is going to do so much more damage now because of double tap. It's actually going to be insane. Yeah, like, <laughs> bro got obliterated right there. I did call it, though. I did say we were not going to get Jug for a long time. I was hoping it wouldn't be so literal, but it is what it is, dude. Ow, okay. Switch to the ray gun, I guess. If there anything about this map that's a little bit annoying is, yeah, the spawns definitely feel a little slow. Other than that, though, everything's fine. I mean, is there anything in here? Galvanocles are in here, but I mean, you know, they're stopping one-shotting right now, so... Whoa, that was a weird glitch. Um, no perks in there. Anything back here? No. If I were apart, where would I be? Pretty like in the back somewhere, like here, right? I mean, I don't even know where the buildable bench would be, so... Oh, here we go. Here's the buildable bench. Just don't know where the part is. <gasps> ah, there we go. Okay, so we can build the shield, but we're not going to do it right now, because that would be a bit risky. Neat, though, because, yeah, the zombies in Black Ops 3 are definitely, like, they swing so much easier. They're a lot stronger, which, you know, it makes sense just to compensate the extra hit that you can take. Oh, that's... That's why it takes so long. They jump over that building there. Shoot all of them. How many can we kill with the M27? Basically, like, a, you know, more or less a full horde. Okay, nice. How many drops? <laughs> okay. All we need now is Jug, I guess, because we can't exactly get Speed Cola if there's a four perk limit. Oh, we're getting another perk. Nice. Well, I'll go build this shield first, and then we'll go check where that is. Additional parts required. What do you mean? I picked up both. So there's three parts to the shield? Logically, that means... Well, if there's not one up here, then it'll have to be, like, somewhere in the middle. <gasps> jug, 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 jug. Took long enough. Yeah, the part is probably somewhere around here, then. Unless the shield's just bugged and you can't build it. I suppose that's always a possibility. Ow, move out the way, bro. All right, can you buy more than four perks? No, you can't. There is a perk limit. Okay, bit of a shame, but... I suppose if we're sticking to original Nuketown, it's faithful. Oh yeah, double tap definitely affects the death machine. So I guess Pack-a-Punch really is going to be the last thing we get. Oh yeah, the anti-zombie shield. Wait, there's classified, classified, classified. Huh? So there's actually more buildables than I thought. Interesting. Oh, we're out of ammo in the M27. Ow, don't get me stuck, zombies now. That would not be nice. Also, as always, the map download will be in the description. Apparently, there's a way you can get extra perk slots, but you have to shoot like three teddy bears outside the map. So I don't know where they would be necessarily. And do I really want to be looking for stuff probably outside the map? Not particularly. You know, I don't really need the extra perk slot. It's not the end of the world. What was that? Why did... Uh, what? The zombies just like did the parting of that one Bible story thing. That was really strange. <laughs> oh, we're getting another perk or pack a punch. Hopefully it's pack a punch. Shame it's going to be pretty far though. Oh, it's going all the way. Yeah, in that corner there. Oh, that's the round two. Okay. I mean, we can probably quickly go and check just to see what it is. Never mind. It's like all the way over here. Oh, it's stamina up. Dude, of all the things. Okay, well, I guess we'll just like train here for a second then. Actually, no, I don't trust it. I want to go back, I want to go back. Take me back, take me back, take me back. Move out the way, please. There go all my Widow's Wine Grenades. We will be getting Packet Punch probably on round 21 or 22 then. I mean, it's not like it particularly matters because, it's, it's, you know, Packet Punch is to help with guns not dealing too much damage and we have a Ray Gun Mark II and an M24 with double tap that seems to be doing a lot of damage. So I'm not really worried. So I think this is the round. Where's the zombie? Come around, dude. Get around the rock, you flipping idiot. <laughs> What's he doing? I mean, we might as well spin for the box. If we're not gonna be pack a punching this for ages, the Olympia. Okay, dude. I'll spin it one more time. Give me something. Give me something unique. I see some cool guns in here, man. The AK? It's not bad, but it's not like that great, really, is it? Uh, the Python? You know, I'll take it. I do love my Python. No speed cola is a bit depressing, but whatever. Like, look at it. It's, it's a reliable one-shot. It's nice. For such a small pistol, it definitely packs a punch. Haha, <laughs> you see what I did there? Play on the... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm too depressed at the fact that I don't have it yet. Hopefully not too, too much longer. We've got a nuke there. Let's go pick that up. Oh, here we go. I hear it. 
Something is dropping. All the way over there. Please be pack a punch. Oh, we got teddy bear. You know, I had a feeling we were going to get it, man. I want to leave like one zombie. I think I saw it come down over here. If I were to guess, it would be upstairs in here. I would imagine, like, probably. Well, it's down up there. Speed cola. Oh my God. You've got to be kidding me. It has given me everything. Everything except what I need. What's in there? Insta kill? No, I don't exactly need that. This game hates me. I didn't even spin the box either. Where even is the box? Oh, it moved right here from there. Okay. Okay, it's not the worst then. We got the M. Okay, we got the M27 back. Sure, I'll take it. It's something, you know? If I could just pack a punch it, I'd be happy. I'd be able to end the video, you know, I'd end happy. What could we possibly get out of a fire sale, though, that we would really want? Like, you know, a B23R? I'm kind of good. At least we have two boxes to spin. That's something. Olympia? Like, yeah, bro. I don't want an Olympia. Uh, we got. Oh, monkeys. All right. Okay, that's actually something that is pretty useful. Bit late in the game to get them. Also, it's crazy. I did, like, Starting on round 100 on Dreisendrach, and we had about 900 kills, I think it was. And we are currently on 655, and it's round 22. Which means it would have been like round 30 to actually get to like 900 kills. Or eh, I guess it'd be more like 26 or something. Either way, that's absurd. One round taking that long, like being the equivalent of 30 rounds. The only thing I dislike about Widow's Wine, you know, it's an amazing perk. But good god is it annoying when they just constantly slap it out of you. The fact this round is not done yet is amazing me. Alright, round done. And still no pack a punch. Crazy, because once it comes, we'll do like two rounds and then we're just gonna end the video anyway. I'm determined, bro. Try me, man. I've had enough of your shit. Oh, look at all these widow's wine grenades. Hello, what? How many are they? What is that? Considering you can only have four maximum, that was quite a lot. Oh, finally. This has to be Packet Punch. Like, I don't know what other perk it could be. Electric Cherry? You're gonna give me an electric cherry machine, man? Is that what you're gonna do to me? Okay, well, it landed. Um, I don't exactly know where, though. Guess we'll go and scan for it. I mean, it could be up here, maybe. <gasps> I think I hear the Packet Punch machine. Is it in this room? <gasps> oh my god! Thank you. Thank you! I can finally pack a punch. Oh, and there's one of the teddies. You have to shoot them, right? Maybe it's for the music Easter egg or something. Or do you have to shoot them with pack a punch guns? No? Whatever, it's fine. This pack a punch camo looks so cool, though. Got this, like, red mist looking thing. Ooh, okay. Ooh, this sounds nice. Okay, this was worth the wait. Let's get to, what is it, round? Is it round 25 when the zombies change color of the eyes? Oh, we've got an insta kill. They have to have increased the drop rate because I'm getting way more. Like, look at this. Like, I'm just getting drop after drop after drop. Right, we've got, like, basically a full horde of zombies. Let's see how strong this is. Yep, it, okay, it pretty much obliterates them all. All right, that's round 25. It has a fast mags on it as well. Or, like, is it a dual mag? I think it's dual mag. Yeah, here we go. Round 25. Richtofen's doing his little, little thing. Yeah, here we go. They got blue eyes. That's this is always my favorite thing. It's just seeing all the zombies with blue eyes. Like something as small as like a color change. So so cool. That's about as iconic as you can get for zombies, really. It's just like going down to the basics of changing the color of the eyes based on who's controlling the zombies. It'd be cool if on round 25 you just automatically get a perkaholic, but like I understand why they didn't do that because it's pretty broken. Also, why am I getting myself in the corner? I don't know. I'm also losing every Widow's Wine and Grenade imaginable. For the sake of it, let's throw a monkey because we haven't all game. Why not? Just get a look at these zombies, man. The blue eyes. Oh, it's so cool. Insta-kill. Oh, yeah. And the fact it changes the announcer to Richtofen as well. Like, whether you like Nuketown or not to play, as in the RNG and all that kind of stuff, you know, that can be pretty annoying. You've got to appreciate the fact that they do, like, small little Easter egg like that. The second you get to round 25, Richtofen becomes the announcer and all the zombies change to blue eyes. Plus the fact you just hear the moon easter egg happening on that little like TV just over here, which now obviously it's turned off because it's, we're done. And then you hear like the random transit bus in the background every so often as well. It's always the subtle things that matter the most in zombies. That's what a lot of the newer maps are missing is like the subtle easter eggs, which it's why I'm excited for COD 2024 because it's really going to be fun. The amount of time that the devs have had to work on it 
And there's no Black Ops 4 excuse where they've started making a Battle Royale like mid-cycle of whatever. As you know, Black Ops 4 was supposed to have two years of Zombies DLC, but that never happened, did it? So I have a lot of faith. If it flops, then A, I'll be crushed. And I'm sure everyone else will be too. Bye-bye, Zombies. Get absolutely... <laughs> Didn't stand a chance, man. Ow, with the headless zombies, can we stop smacking me? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I was mid-slide, bro. I was mid-slide. It's fine. Well, I think we're basically going to end this here because we explored everything in the map. We finally got the Pack-a-Punch. Everything is on the map anyway, so... I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Um, And I will see you in... Yeah, in my next video.